princess. Hey, princess. Are you ready, princess? You ready? Because it's time for this week's episode. Good morning, everybody. Uh, time to go to the flea market and uh, make some money. Wop. Mega Man slash Wolf Child battle has continued. A customer just came to my booth and said, hey, we don't want to buy this game because we know it's the wrong game. Apparently they went to Eminem Brothers and some stuff happened and they found out. And they're like, yeah, he did it. He swapped it out. But it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. I don't care. I don't care at this point. I'm over it. Eh. Anything. I mean, they're anywhere from ten dollars and up. Okay. Most of the Wii games are ten bucks. I mean, unless it's a newer game. Oh, the Mario Advance. Okay, cool. Uh, systems? Yeah. Yeah, I got a few of those lying around here. There's Laurel helping some customers. She is back by popular demand. Uh, any of the games for Xbox are four bucks each. I'll do now. Yeah, all the stuff that all the stuff that's up here is on sale, four bucks. Matter of fact, I'll give you two games and a controller for ten bucks. Woo! Hey, you don't have ten bucks. Deal day. Deal day at the flea market. Kenny started this war. And Scott, Josh, gonna finish, gotta finish it. it. Woo. Take a look at this, everybody. Mario's galore. Look at that Mario Kart, Zelda. Woo. Ghosts and Goblins, Super Contra, Batman. All the good stuff. Yes? Okay. That's fine. We'll put it in there. I'll help you in a second. And then... I don't know. We're here Saturday, Sunday between 9 and 4. And this is Josh. It's new booth. He is selling comics. So it is an extension of my booth. He has... Uh, look at this, everybody. June 1938, the first appearance of Superman. If this was the official comic, it would be worth 500000 But if you look, the sticker says a dollar. It's a reprint that was made in 1992. That's how you can tell it's a reprint because the actual comic was 10 cents, not a dollar. And there it's obviously a dollar, so it's a, it's a reprint. But, yeah, he's got an imitation of, of an original that's worth money. So now I have not one, not two, but I can't, I can't even zoom out. I have three booths. All Game Wizard related. And Josh is going to try and make some money. Woo! Oh, you have a big butt. And it... You did that wall. You did that wall. And she did all that. My booth actually looks clean for once. Good job. Woo and you wanted to be on another episode, so now you're officially in one. There's David and, and Josh. Today, hey, we have three booths this week. We are officially from now on. Josh is selling comics over here. I owe you two bucks. No, 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 no. And where is it? If this was the original, it would be worth five hundred thousand dollars. That's the first appearance of Superman ever. Do something. June 1938. So Josh, you gonna put a sign up that says Comic Wizard Junior? We're gonna go buy a sign. Yeah, I, I mean you might as well. You got the inventory. I told Ken. I told Kenny. 
Uh, I'm gonna run this idea by all you guys. Uh, I've no. been considering need, opening a store. We need to run this food. And um, there's a spot open on 66th Street. Well, you guys don't know where that's at. By my house in St. Pete. Anyway, guy said 900 a month. It includes everything except the electric. I told you about Mega Man X2, right? So, for all you on YouTube, this is my this is my weekly question for YouTube, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, Josh complained about the candy. Anyway, yeah, what do you guys think? You think I should open a store? You think I should try it or not? Do I have enough inventory? Stuff like that. Because obviously I got, I got, I got games. I got games. And then I got the whole storage shed, so just let me know in the comments below. Woo! Uh, PSP, I don't think I do. There's a DS charger in there. Yeah, I just... I don't look brand new with all the on it. Well, no, look at the system on the inside. I saw it. I saw it that earlier. Super Nintendo in the box. And then he threw in, I bought that. Bunch of I got a whole Wii set up. No Wii, but I got all the pieces for it. Yeah, yeah. So I'll get at least 10 to 15 bucks out of a complete set of Wii pieces. And then move. Then we got some movies in there. What movies are down there? Any good ones? Nope. The Oscar. A whole box of movies. Yep. yep. Everything all for 70 bucks. So if I sell the cords to the Wii for 10 to 15, that'll bring it down to 55. The movies I'll get at least 10 to 15. So it's like I spent 40 bucks on it. Oh, what? You know, what did it say? By the time I sell everything. <laughs> Whoa, what's it say? Shakira. Yeah. Oral. Oh, Shakira. I'm on the night. You know my hips don't die. I don't know. Anyway, awesome find. And my hot streak continues. Woo! It has been a really long time since this has happened at my booth. The mole has gone digging. He's back in his natural habitat. Okay. Well, everybody, I'm going to go take Laurel home because she wants to leave. And then we'll be back and we'll film some more stuff. What a, big bird. How much money have you made, Josh? How many comics have you sold? More than you. Damn, both sell Mario for the CDI is $800. Woo! We'll be right back. There goes Laurel. I just dropped her off at the house. All of you are wondering where she's been. Well, she's still here. Just, you know, hasn't been coming to the flea market as much lately. I just stopped at a garage sale. The most disappointing garage sale I think I've ever been at. Uh, she had a bunch of good stuff, but her 19-year-old son, she said, was not going to sell any of it. And then the Game Boy that she was going to sell me, it was a Pokemon edition, old-style Game Boy. Probably worth like 40, 50 bucks, maybe, somewhere around there. Uh, well, she decided not to sell it because her son said don't do it. So, I was going to give her 10 bucks for it. Darn. Oh, well, back to the flea market to make some more money. Woo! You wish. And Kenneth is digging around through cords. And there goes those customers. Woo! On the ground. So how much have you sold today, Josh? None. Uh, not much of customers. Not in the booth. I'm at one, somewhere between 150 and 200 today, I think. But most of that was from early on in the day. Uh, I got a bunch of customers right now, hoping to buy stuff. So we'll see. See if we get any bites on it. I just sold Mario Kart, Super Nintendo, Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, and Blitz for 52. Do you mind being on camera? Okay. So uh, these two, these two guys for $52. Yeah. Woo! Awesome. Josh. No, not good. Look at this. Huh? It's got three of them. Okay, cool. Josh, I just sold Mario Kart Super Nintendo, Mario Kart 64, Mario World, and NFL Blitz for 52 Both bucks. The same. Woo! That's good. 
Yeah, I just sold Mario Party 3 and no Mario 64 for 40 bucks. Uh, one said 30, the other one said 20. What I did was I charged for 15 and uh, 25, so that's how it came out to be the right number. And that, that way I didn't lose any money. But uh, what are you trying to show me, girl? Put the camera away. Show me. Show the camera. No. Smile for the camera. No. Okay, he's camera shy right now. We'll be back. Josh was a witness. I just made a $25 sale. All the good ones. And he's got, he's texting them now. The guy's going to be stupid. It sells him for less money. Ah! You need a ride home, Kenneth? I smell a snipe. I got the most money. Ah! 184. 184. Woo! Yeah, I made almost 300 bucks today. I spent uh, between 70 and 100 today, so I probably would have made like 300 total almost. But it was a really, really good day. We're about to start packing up. And uh, no seal, but he don't care. Because that's how we... Anyway, uh... Yeah, this concludes another wonderful episode of the Video Game Wizard. Until next week. Ganking every day, boy. Ganking every day. Woo!